Dominican food on the double. Twin brothers in particular cooking up something special in Washington, D.C. when the American dream meets the pandemic. So Los Hermanos started off as what we call a bodega. A bodega is pretty much like a convenience store that sells uh, Latin American products like plantains, uh, yuca, things like that. And when we were on summer breaks, we were barely 10 years old. Um, we, my mom would actually cook for us because she didn't want us eating fast food. So as soon as she would start cooking and the aromas started you know, emanating from the pots, customer would ask, you know, what is that? What's that smell? And she would actually give them a little bit of the food to taste. And that's how she get, she and my dad got the idea of actually selling Dominican food. So what inspired us the most is the fact that our food is pretty underrepresented in the US. When you think about Latino food or Hispanic food, you think more burritos, uh, tacos, you think about enchiladas, but you really don't think about stewed goat or oxtail or stewed chicken, you know, rice, plantain. So our mom didn't really have any recipes you know, like she would just be going around the kitchen, open up her cupboards, getting a little bit of salt, throwing it into the into the pot. But somehow it tastes great every single time and, and with the same consistency and everything. So the biggest challenge that we had was just that. So Mitchell's Dominican Kitchen was born, the idea was born about three years ago. And it just revolved about this concept that we have to get our food out there. You know, it was already time, you know, we've been in business for over 24 years. So we definitely wanted to Take, the, take that leap. Before the pandemic, we were literally breaking records at both Los Hermanos and at Metro's Dominican Kitchen. We, we were literally went from, let's say, selling $100 to selling $20 a day. You know, so how do you pay your employees? You know, how do you, you know, there's, a, there's just a lot of uh, uncertainty. Once the curfews came and we had to think about how are these people gonna be able to get their food? You know, there, there's still people there that are, you know, their profiles closing. You know, how are, they, how are the frontline workers gonna be able to get their food? And so we decided to start, you know, let, you know, let's give these guys some food to make their day a little bit better. So they're not, you know, working on an empty stomach. Just being able to say that we're open now for me is a success because a lot of people had to close their doors because of this. And the fact that we didn't have to close our doors for me is like a, a success uh, in, in and of itself. So our hope for Los Hermanos and now Metro's Dominican Kitchen is getting all across the U.S. and maybe even the world, being able to present Dominican food to, to everyone. Food and uh, Latino culture, they're, they're almost interchangeable. It was a really big part uh, of our culture, and it's great actually being able to share that with, with everyone else. Well, and thank you for sharing that inspirational story. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.